welcome back. All right, so cleaned up my mess, grabbed my charts. Um, so I'll show you how I organize my charts. So I have three of these divider things, found these at the thrift store. One's for completed, kitted up, and new. So I'll start with kitted up, but usually to me kitted up is just fabric because I have a full thing of DMC and that's easy enough to go out. Um, so this one I have the fabric and then this here I don't have anything for. So we'll start off with kitted or semi-kitted. Um, <laughs> guys think that and so I ate something watched the little floss tube and you guys thought I was just bullshitting you with the whole just sitting around in my shoes and stitch no see look I put them on see I'm wearing them but actually I'm gonna take them off because so I left my broken ones in Vegas and they're gonna ship me like this fancy box and dust cover and stuff for the shoes. And I got, that was the text message was FedEx is gonna deliver this box and I need to be here to sign for it. And she actually put my broken heels in the box to use as weight. Um, but I'm gonna take off those because during this video, I need to get up. I don't wanna kill myself in my shoes. All right, now, um, I would try to work on the whole glare issue. Whatever glare you do see, it's from my porch doors, um, so I can't really fix that. Um, I'll hold it up long enough. I'll say what it is, who it's by, but I have so many, I'm not going to list them down below. Um, so, all right, grab your pen and paper. So, kit it up, ready to go. Now and then, the Primitive Hair, this was a Nashville release this year. That fabric that I showed you in my last video, um, the silver lining something, that's what this is for. That's what this is for. So, now and then, Primitive Hair um, with the threads. So now I can start that. <clears throat> Barbara Anna Designs. This is a visit to town. It's one of five. I've done three so far. I also have a Facebook stitch along. Um, a New World stitch along, I think, is it? So... I still have this one to do, and that one I have the blue spruce fabric for. New World Part 1, The Night of All Fears. If you're not into the five-part series, you could just stitch this one as a Halloween piece and be good to go. Um, this is Exotic Orchard Lugana. Um, I plan on, I was going to individually frame each of them and then frame them that way, but I may sew them together. I, I kind of think I like the idea of then like seeing the seam of the fabric coming together and then framing it as one big piece. I'm not exactly sure yet. Victorian Christmas Eve. This was Hirschner's when they had $1 sales. I think it was last year. This is Nor Nora Corbett piece. And this is the fabric that I have for a tumbleweed 32 count. Um, I like it because she's like, well, she's Victorian. Um, like old school. I just think it's really elegant. 
So I have her. Um, Design Works Heartfelt. This is the Hope I Did. The Bird um, is one of my first pieces. But I have this one. And I was thinking of just doing the owl, but I'm not sure. This was gifted to me um, with the fabric Raven Queen by Nora. Not a huge Mira fan, um, but there are just a couple that I would stitch if I had them. And I forget who sent that to me, but it was very lovely. So, while he's trying to eat with his cone of shame on. Brooks Books. Um, this is the Alice dress up. Fabric for that. Primitive needle, turkey, and pumpkin pie. I had to get it. She's running after the turkey with an axe, and the pumpkin has feet and is running too. Come on. Yes. Yes. Lay down, Wally. By the Bay Needle Art. I am a needlesmith. This was also a release this year. I have the fabric for this as well. All right, so that's, oh no, I got one more. One more. What are you doing? This one I need to do for the in-laws, home sweet home. This would probably take me like a day to do, so I should just do it. Daisy Lane Cottage. Little House Needleworks. Um, so good. A good variety. I kind of keep these, so it's like if I want to start something new, but I don't want to be digging through charts and matching up fabric because that fabric piece big enough I can just get in here and go what do you need to go outside okay charts that oh shine um charts that I just have I've never opened it I've never skimmed through Halloween 2011 to 14, just cross stitch. I got this off of, hey, back up. I got this off of Amazon. Um, and there's some awesome Halloween charts on here. Oh, look, they do have a, look, they got a Salem witch on the front. Did I miss that? So, what, a couple hundred charts right here? Um, Plum Street Samplers, Earthly Treasures, love the colors, and who doesn't love a good PSS? All right, well, hold on. Freaking hot out here. Um, our temperature gauge says we have one in the kitchen that my parents got me for Chris for us for Christmas says 103 outside water hazard I'm doing the series um, I think this is the only one that I have left to do and I want to repaint our guest bathroom I think I want to do it the gray that's in the medical bathroom um and then frame all of these up well I do have them framed but have them hanging up on the wall in the bathroom tokens from Italy by GPA um but it's I don't even know how to pronounce that Italian name 
I know it's on clearance. One, two, three, go get it. Hurry up. Tokens of Italy. Of course I had to get it. By the Bay Needle Art Think Spring. Love the frame that it's in. That's kick ass. Um, just love all the bright colors. So that's, yeah, Think Spring. A lot of the charts that I get off of one, two, three, rarely. Unless I love them and want to stitch them right away, I usually just do clearance. Um, home of a Needleworker. This was a gift from Marlene. Hey, girl. Um, Ghoul Tidings, PSS. I need to do this one to match my Halloween delivery. The ghoul tidings. Jardon Privé patchwork. De la... I don't know. I'm not going to butcher it because I probably already are. But it's cute. It's all like sewing notions and stuff. Um... Three shades of green, Kel um, Kesslins, Kesslins. Mandala-esque, and then I think I really liked it because of the doohickeys, that's the technical word. Um, but again, you could use any colors you want, but I kind of like the, the green. I think that's cool. I'm sure Wally's not roasting outside. Um, Minnie, I beat you to it. I think it was you that I saw. Mademoiselle. And goes with um, Marquise really well. Which again, that's a great contender. Come on. For... Um, the State Fair. Um, PSS, Mermaid Fractor. I could wear my shoes as I stitch this. Another Jardin Privé piece. I think I got this at the attic. Um, I was going to change it so it's more Irwin-esque. Irwin-esque. Halloween Sampler, Cottage Garden. Um, Jill? Yeah, you sent me this. Maybe that cobblestone, that other piece of cobblestone, cobblestone, that would look cool on here. I love the font on this as well. I think it's super cool. So, I'm not a huge fan of stitching words, but they go fast, but I don't know. I like to see more stuff develop than just words. Um... Nora, this is Hummingbird, which reminds me today's my mother, my grandmother's birthday, 4th of July. Um, and I know I had some questions or some comments regarding asking about my grandpa. He is doing well. He is finally back home. Um, so he had to have surgery. His foot got infected. He's been diabetic for years and years. This lump sore appeared years ago, and they, you know how older people are. They just kind of get stuck in their ways and stubborn. Not that everyone, I mean, everyone's like that. Um, but sometimes 
older people are a little more difficult to, you know, do the proper thing. And they kind of just let it go. Um, and so they told him, oh, well, we can, we'll have to take off your foot, but we think you, we can save your heel. Okay, you know, take more than you need to make sure it's all gone. Didn't heal, nothing. Um, he got really, really sick. Um, my mom texted me saying that he had really low white blood cell count. And I said, well, that's an infection. Um, two days later, he went in and they took the leg from the knee down. Um, then that was having problems healing, but then that finally started healing really, really well. He started physical therapy. Um, they wanted him, you know, he's 90. They wanted him to be able to care for himself um, as much as possible. They still live on their own. Um, you know, kind of educate my grandma about the cleaning of it and caring for it. Um, and then he got sepsis a couple weeks ago. So he's on hardcore antibiotics for that. I mean, it's like one thing after another. He has survived stage four colon cancer. He got um, TB when he was in the war. I mean, he's like a damn cat with nine lives, but I think he's definitely surpassed nine. But he's home for before my couple days ago, and that's what we wanted was him to be home for my grandma's birthday, and he is. Polly, the pirate witch. I think this is like one of the very first ones I got. Um, but I was thinking about just not stitching it on perforated or because I've never stitched on perforated, do it and then um, frame it in like a shadow box. Sirens of the Sea Carriage House samplings. Yes. Love this. How is this not me? Well, I mean, I don't think my boobs are that saggy, but I don't know. Shabby Sampler, Fallbrook House. I know, it's like I go from these, like, style is like all over. I don't know, I think I like the whole kind of vintage look about it, put it in a nice clean white distressed frame. That's on clearance too on 123, I believe. Elizabeth's Needlework Designs Antique Celtic Sampler. Yes. Um, Emily's doing the animal sampler. There are a couple of other ones of these that I've seen on eBay, one, two, three. Um, this might be a go to the attic and look at the threads because I want the threads to be darker. Um, and they're, they're kind of bright, I guess, in person. So, Susanna Foley, Tombstone Angel, Kathy Barrick. Mm -hmm. um, be cheerful, live your life. This is the Skeleton Mosaic, works by ABC. This is what, um, I'm gonna use one of the pieces, the Cobblestone Lugana. Um, to stitch it on. Ink circles, dragons of Sumatra. Want to start it? Um, you know how a couple weeks ago from the thrift store I got all those old DMC, the two <sighs> boxes of DMC 701? What about green? I think green would kind of look kick ass because God knows I got enough of it. So, yeah. Never more. 
prairie schooler. This was at the attic when I went. Mm -hmm. This was a, a Satsuma Street, 12 Days of Christmas. This was a start. Um, I was going to do ornaments, and then they didn't fit in the frames that I wanted. Huh. It was just a disaster. So I'm going to restart it and do it all on one piece. Love the bright colors. Love the whimsy of it. Um, and God knows I'm not going to do stitch nine milkmaids dancing or whatever the hell she's doing. Quaker Mermaid. R-E-T-M. Again, need to find some cool-ass fabric for this. I've never stitched on any opalescent. Um, and they suggest fabrics by Steph Gina, opalescent Lugana. Um, Toil in Trouble, another PSS. Um, I thought about st so stitching this and then getting the variegated just for the house and the trees. Um, holy crap, look at those trees. Shit. Masquerade ink circles. Kind of forget I've had these. Okay, this is bad going through because now I'm like, oh, I want to stitch that. Oh, I want to stitch this. And oh, I want to stitch this. <sighs> Masquerade ink circles. Love this. Love the frame. Frames kick ass. The bones on it. Spring, another RETM. Love the birds, just like how different it is. Um, I think this is on clearance as well on one, two, three still. I just like that the border, it's like a, it's like a sampler. There's something different, you know. Um, Barbara Anna, my favorite apron. This would look good on cobblestone too. Um, the creepy little angels baby, naked angel babies. Um, Princess Leia hairdo going on. I think there's some couple people. I think Emily has that. I want to say somebody else was has started stitching it. Harvest Delivery PSS. Um, obviously would not do this on white if then you're stitching a cream colored horse because you kind of do a second look. Um, Garden of Erie. Plum Street. Oh. And then at the bottom it says this work rot, R-O-T, by me. And then you stitch in your name. Last year, Ayrton was Frankenstein, so I thought, oh, I had to get this. But I love the, like, the turkey vulture in the tree. I think that's cool. What else do I have? Christmas Joyride Carriage House Samplings. Mira, uh, Tree of Hope. I know someone stitched this and they didn't stitch in the little girls, which actually looked kind of cool. And I know people have talked about that, like, oh, you're doing Tree of Hope, are you going to add the girls in? Cool with or without, personal preference. This was the first Mira I bought. Um, because I really liked it, and I thought this might be a good first one 
because the tree is basically, I mean, it's solid stitched, but it's like blocks of it. So I don't think it, it would be like crazy confetti heavy or anything like that. Um, Snowflower Diaries, Theodora. Which I think I bought this one with Frida when she had a sale going on. Uh, Corners and Curves, Rosewood Manor. Um, probably be a little bit before I start this because this is how a lot of the motifs are for Lion. And the starting and stopping can get a little, little boring, frustrating. Um, this stuff was like a manual. Crap. Good intentions, Kathy Barrick. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna stitch on the box, Michelle, that you sent me, Hobby Lobby wooden box that caused me to get into a car accident. I don't know if this would be small enough or the right size. I'd probably have to do it small. Um, but that would be cool to put on that box. Quaker Gone Spooky. Michelle Ink Needlework Designs. Again, Great fabric choice for this. Four colors. So yeah, that's just, let's put it on something dark. That tree is everything though. That tree is awesome. Spend longer time on the tree than anything else. Um, Barbara Anna Designs, Halloween, The Moon Laughs. When witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers till tis Halloween. And that's cool. It kind of shows you like the, what it look like on dark, what it look like on dark light. Prairie Moon. was at the attic. People were selling at crazy ridiculous prices and I think it was half off the attic. I got this for like seven bucks. Dancing Pepe's and witches. Um, hmm, I need a nap. Mermaid's Song Carriage House Samplings. Again, I need to stitch these while wearing my shoes. Hey, there you that's better light. Look at those suckers. There you go. Um, I love just like the old vintage kind of feel. Again, the frame on that. It's like perfect. That was gorgeous stitched up. I remember that was in the attic. Um, Anna Lee Waite Designs Vintage Lovely. This was clearance one, two, three. Has beads. Um, maybe it's not, yeah, it's not this one that has specialty stitches. But yeah, I thought that was cool. So many that I want to start. This was a gift. The Sweetheart Tree. Pepe, come on. Um, Bent Creek, that pumpkin's not big, it's uber. With the cat on the top. Change it to gray for Irwin. Glendon Place, Jazzy Jack. Um... I want to start this. Lila's Studio, the anniversary. 
Joe and our anniversary is at the end of this month. We met on the 29th of July. Yep. Coming up on seven years, the end of October, being married. I think he's a keeper with the shoes. I wasn't really sure beforehand, but your husband buys you $2,000 shoes. I think he's considered a winner. He kind of lost me on the boat thing, but the shoes. Now, I'm not saying, sidetrack, I'm not saying because he bought me the expensive shoes that now we're even on the boat, because we're not. Good chance. He was trying. I think that's what it was. Lottie da Sarah Lowell. I love the frame on this. Um, around the flower. I think it's just really elegant. Sarah Lowell. Barbara Anna. Midnight. Midnight. It is now the very witching time of night. William Shakespeare. Penny, those are called penny templates. The felt, yeah, no. Lottie Da, which I showed you. Frida, I showed you. Jack's Bash, Morning Tree Sewing Bag. Okay, I think that's it. What am I at, 30 minutes? Okay, not too bad. I didn't want it too terribly long. So I hope you guys liked mustache. I got a few magazines, um, but nothing crazy. Um, as you can see, I got plenty of charts for a long ass time to keep me occupied. Um, but keep keep showing your stash, your whip parade, because I'm easily influenced. If I like the chart shit, I'll go out and buy it too. Just keep adding to it. Um, but yeah, any questions, if I can help you with anything, any questions regarding charts, chart size, fabric that's asked for whatever, just let me know. I'm gonna work on the lion piece a little more, maybe get that top motif done. I'll upload these two videos, edit them. Well, not edit them, but the usual stuff. I will catch you guys all next week sometime. Bye.